am going through some essential tools for that any person should carry in their car if they're planning on going on a long trip and they expect to make repairs on their vehicle. Okay? In this case, we have a 2000 Land Cruiser Prado that will be traveling from Switzerland to Mongolia. Okay, these are some tools that I got from the local uh, discount tool sh store, and all of this together cost me about uh, maybe $125. So, even if you have a small budget, you can get what you need for any job. Okay, let's start with the basics. We've got some hand tools, a pack of vice grips. These can be used to hold nuts while you tighten down a bolt. They can be used to clamp exhausts together, anything that's rattling around. Sometimes it's cheaper to put a $3 vice grip to hold something down than get it welded. So think about that one. You've got all different sizes. And if a nut is stripped out, you can break it off. Essential. These are great. Um, if you have a radiator hose, when they are um, stuck on the tube, you can grab the hose and twist it, and it will break free, and then you can pull it off. So by varying the opening amount, you can take off varying degrees of hoses. And they have other, you know, nice tension because you have the long handle. These are good for electrical repairs or if you have uh, some wire and you need to twist it or cut wire, you can also use this side to uh, grab something. But I always use these to twist wire. If you're clamping down on something and you're wrapping wire around it and you want to twist down on it, this nice flat edge is the way to go. Diagonal cutters, also known as dikes. Um, they can cut pretty much anything from metal to plastic to pulling things. Uh, you can use them to do brakes, pulling off springs. These are used all the time. Another, uh, if you're taking off the clamp on a hose, usually they're spring-loaded clamps. These are the best things for them. Go down, take the clamp off, released. Um, you can also grab circular things and rotate them if you just need to get a little turn. Some needle nose pliers, um, obviously for like tight spaces and wiring. Uh, you can also use them to take clamps off. Uh, just good to have. Some basic screwdrivers. These are not by any means top of the line. They were actually free with purchase. <laughs> But having a, a stubby one, having a big one, and having a medium-sized one, um, you can take apart trim panels and everything else. All right, let's get to the sockets. You only buy metric tools. Anyone who buys standard tools is working on 1970 domestic vehicles. Everything since then uses metric, so only buy metric. And even on standard nuts, you can still use metric tools for the most part. Um, these are uh, half inch drive, and you can keep them on this to keep them organized, color coded, so you'll start to learn the colors if you're using them really quickly. Um, and they're deep, so if you have a bolt with a nut, you can take them off. For the 3 Ace, I also like to use deep ones because 9 times out of 10, this is your go-to socket set. You can do most stuff with your 3 Ace size. Again, they're all metric, uh, 10 through 19. Uh, quarter inch for all your small, intricate stuff, you're going to use these. And here are the different ratchets that go with them. Um, for your half inch drive, uh, this is a heavy duty, this is a nice thing because it, it extends, so you can get more leverage. You could actually change tires with this one. You can break apart suspension components with this. Um, this is the way to go when you need your leverage, and you'd use your half inch. 
And these guys are your everyday get it around the vehicle stuff. I like these because they are composite, super lightweight, nice, easy on your hands, easy to move um, for any type of work that you're doing that you're not using them all the time, every day. These are a great set. And they're actually just as strong as a, uh, a metal set. I wouldn't hit them with a hammer necessarily, but um, I just like how light they are and uh, they're a good value. Just some specialized uh, sockets, um, star bits. Uh, these are not on every car, but they uh, are very important to have. And you got your full set there. And of course your Allen keys in metric. Um, and uh, these can be used to take out um, the drain plugs on your uh, transfer case, transmission, differential, and all these up here. You'll find a time when you need, when you see that Allen key, and these are the guys that you're going to use. I always like to have these sets on sockets, Star and Allen, because even though you can get them in the little handheld ones, you just can't get the leverage that you need unless they're hooked up to a ratchet. Um, believe it or not, for your extensions, um, you can just get a 3A set. And this will give you the length that you need for most jobs. Using your adapter set, let's say on the end here you want to put a, a 3 8 socket or even a quarter inch socket, you could use that with this adapter. But then on the end here you could put your, your 3 8 to half inch and use your big um, ratchet and break free things. Even, I've actually used these, if you just need like a short extension, you could actually put two of these together and then you've got your short extension. But, but this broken up, you'll find uh, the right length for the job you need. And by adding them together, you actually get a little bit of a wobble. So if you've got a bolt that's sort of like up over the top, you can put these together and you'll get just the right enough curve to be able to, to get in there. Getting a wobble set that's sort of like more down the line or universal, which don't give you a lot of torque, but um, can help you get into uh, tight spaces. And uh, I also included a 21, 22, and 24 uh, millimeter socket. These are used to, um, these are actually impact sockets that you could use with an impact gun, but I know you just, you need your, your extra larger sizes and um, these will not slip <laughs> because they're hardened steel. Just some uh, small trinkets. Um, I'll actually say this for a second. A pick. If you have an electrical connector and you need to get in there, you push down on the tab and you pull the connector. And this is how you do it. You can also take off um, O-rings with this. Anytime you need to get into a small place, you can even use this to scratch corrosion off of a connector if you have it. A male connector and it's got corrosion on it, you can scratch it. The magnet. This is a very good magnet. It'll actually, it's so strong you can lift up pretty heavy um, things. I've bought many of these um, and uh, I use them all the time. So when you drop that nut down in there, you can, you can pick it up. And this has got a good rare earth magnet that is strong enough to lift up even sockets that are that are big. All right, um, pocket screwdriver. They actually give these, the tool guy gives these to me for free, but I need them so much that I actually pay, I give him a $3 tip every single time he gives me one because he can't sell them. But uh, this is your go-to tool for popping open connectors. It's got a little magnet on the end. Um, you'll also find if you're popping off little trim panels, sometimes you just need to get behind there. And this is a tool that I use every day working on cars. Little mirror. Um, I've got varying sizes of mirrors, but this is just a good mirror to have. Um, if you need to look from behind something, uh, you can shine the flashlight on the mirror to actually see, instead of shining the flashlight on what you're trying to see, it's a good way to do it. But uh, having a mirror sometimes can can really help you see what's going on. If, you, if you've got a leak, if uh, you just can't see it. And uh, tread depth. 
you know, basic maintenance, I always say, what is the something you always check on your car every day? Your oil and your air. If you just check those two things, everything else is secondary. But you check your oil and air, and while you're at it, you know, um, you could check your tread depth. And just make, you know, this isn't something you would do every day, but what is the point of rotating your tires? You always hear this, rotate your tires with your oil changes and you don't really know what they're talking about. What they're saying is that your front tires wear faster than your rear tires, so you would check your depth in the tread. You just push this right in the tread and it gives you a reading. You've got your 30 seconds of an inch and also your millimeters. Make sure you're always using the same one. But the idea of this is you want to have the tires with the most tread up front because they wear faster going around those curves. And, um, you know, if you've got a problem where the car is pulling or drifting or something like this, checking your tread depth and putting, uh, you know, the right tire with the most tread on a certain side of the car can help you get it to go straight. Small adjustments on alignment. All right. Um, some fun electrical things. First thing every guy needs in his, in his tool bag is a decent flashlight. <laughs> um, this actually... I found in a car in a motor <laughs> so it's been through its paces put a new battery in it I know it's gonna keep going strong um, nice LED um, but also when you're you know and that's just good when you're peering down trying to figure out what's going on but once you're working on a job you're gonna want to have a work light something that's magnetic that you can clip to a hood or you can hang from uh, an area. This has got a little hook in there that pops open. You can hang it down, but just to shine on what you're working on. And if you can see what you're doing, it is a million times easier. If you're in there and it's dark and you can't really see what's going on, it just adds a lot of stress and you start losing stuff. And uh, it's amazing what some good light can do when you're working on a job. This is a nice light too, because not only do you have the LED with the broad space but you also have a um, emergency light that you can just stick on the car and uh, that's it. Okay, um, we're going into our electrical section, we're almost done here. This is a, just a standard multimeter. Um, it can check voltage so you can you can put this on your battery and check your voltage on your battery you can also check voltage at a component, make sure you have enough voltage there. You can also check your uh, ohms resistance, and um, there's a lot of training on this kind of stuff. But on the other side of that, just checking open voltage doesn't give you the whole story. You need a test light, which has got a little light bulb in here. You'd put this on a negative terminal, and you put this on the positive, and your light lights up. And depending on how bright the light is, you can really tell a lot about the circuit. So if I've got a dim light, but I have a bright light at the battery, but I got a dim light out back by my, my brake light or whatever component I'm checking, that tells you that somewhere along the line you're losing voltage. And even though I see 12 volts on here, when it's put under load, which this lamp provides, um, you're, you don't have full voltage, and so having a test light and a multimeter, it's sort of both sides of the spectrum. You get the whole picture of what's going on in your voltage. And you can also check positive side stuff, too. You know, you can put this end on the positive terminal and check your grounds, you know, so. Um, and of course, uh, just a simple wire stripper. You can strip wires, you can cut wires, you can crimp wires. So when you're doing your electrical repairs, that's going to be what you need. And uh, this I got on eBay. This is your scan tool for a Toyota truck. And it will um, give you your diagnostic trouble codes, allow you to uh, pull codes from all the modules on the car, including ABS, airbag, etc. And you actually can active test things. So if you've got an issue where your horn's not working, you could go in and active test your horn, honk, honk. Okay, well, now I know that my, my switch at the steering wheel is probably the problem because the rest of it works. And that's it. Thank you. Um, this will all go in your $7 tool bag, which has got little side pockets. And I almost forgot the most important stuff <laughs> in your hand tools. A hammer, a pry bar, 
and a nice set of wrenches that, that can just uh, roll up, goes in the bag, should be all you need for the basic stuff.